it's Madeline and I are, and we're back in the kitchen and today we're going to make a not stir-fry. We were invited over to some friends for dinner and it's kind of a potluck thing and so I thought well what's in the fridge? What can I throw together that will be fairly quick and easy and delicious? So um, I found some scallions and some carrots and some red cabbage, some uh, sprouts, shiitake mushrooms and fresh spinach from the farmers market. I also happen to have a couple bags of these kelp noodles which are a wonderful alternative to uh, pasta. They're a gluten-free food and they just go really well with vegetables and they, they have a neutral taste so whatever sauce you put on there they just lend themselves really well to absorbing those flavors. So the way we work with these you know, by the way, they are a rich source of trace minerals, including iodine. And so many people have thyroid challenges. A little extra iodine is a good thing. So, as you can see, they almost look like rice noodles, but they are not. You just put them in a bowl and separate them a bit. And then, Cover them in water. Okay, so we've got the noodles in the bowl of water and we're just going to swish them around, rinse them a bit. Then I'm going to put them in a colander, strain them, put them in a bowl. I'm going to go off and chop those vegetables and I'll meet you back here in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. So I have strained the noodles. They're all rinsed and strained, ready to go and chopped all my vegetables. I have here some red cabbage, shredded, and this is just a little over a cup. Again, it's just what you have in the fridge. There's no exact science to this. It's a cup of shiitake mushrooms, also lightly rinsed. They tell you not to submerge them in water, but I just, I feel like I have to wash them. They tend to get a lot of dirt on them. Bean sprouts, a cup. Two to three carrots, depending on the size. And there are shortcuts you can use. You can certainly buy the pre-shredded. I happen to have a bunch of carrots. Depends if I'm in a hurry. I'll use the organic shredded carrots already in a bag. And then scallions, and there are three scallions here, chopped. Fresh spinach, two cups. And I'm going to set this aside and assemble the ingredients to make the sauce and show you how that's done. So, be right back. Okay, we're back and we're going to make the sauce to go on our not stir fry. I have here organic tamari. This is a wheat free soy sauce, it is not raw. And there is a raw alternative, it's called Nama Shoyu, but that is that contains wheat. And so a lot of people have wheat sensitivities or are just trying to avoid it. Some are challenged by wheat and don't realize it. So for me, the occasional use of this uh, is preferable. But again, you have to do what's best for you. So half a cup. My wonderful Blendtec blender, which I adore. Toasted sesame oil. Again, toasted, so it isn't raw, but I'm only putting a tablespoon. And you just can't beat the flavor. That toasted flavor, it's the perfect trade-off. No need to be dogmatic. Got a large clove of garlic, chopped. Actually, it's crushed. This is fresh ginger that I grated with a ginger grater. It's about a tablespoon. Some 
some sweetener. Okay, this is raw coconut nectar, but you can use whatever kind of sweetener you like. Um, we're just going to use this today. And just put a couple tablespoons in there. And this is very low on the glycemic index. You can see it's very thick. Look at that. It's like syrupy. Comes from the coconut trees. It's the sap. I think the soy sauce is probably salty enough. We're going to mix it together and see. And if it feels like it needs a little extra salt, I have my trusty pink Himalayan sea salt here, and I may just add a pinch. All right, so we're just going to blend this up. And the Blendtec has a soup syrups and, uh, oh, a sauces, dips, and dressings button. So we're going to push that. This does not need any extra salt. And I love salt. Let's see, we're good. I'm just going to pour this on top. Doesn't that look pretty? Some sesame seeds, we'll sprinkle on top. Mix those a bit. Now, in the past, I have made some tamari almonds and chopped those up as you would use peanuts, for example, with a pad thai and just put those on top. But my body doesn't seem to be liking almonds right now, so I'm going to just leave those out. But that's an option, and um, one worth considering. All right, so that's our stir fry. Not. And I think the neighbors are gonna like that as much as we will. <laughs> 